and welcome to Bears Broadcast. I'm your host, Vaughn Wiltz, alongside Cicely Silsbury. That's right, and today we have some very intriguing reports. Get the popcorn ready because it's going to be a fun one. Speaking of fun, did you go to that haunted shed? No, I didn't, but I can show you some people who did. It was very fun working in the haunted house. I got to dress up and scare people. It was very funny. Especially when I scared Miranda McIntyre, she started crying, I'm pretty sure. I think my funniest story yet in the past two weekends is there was these three little girls that went in here twice and came to my thing and said, if you scare me, I'm going to pee my pants. And I scared them to pee their pants. Well, I really enjoy doing the haunted house, you know, because we make lots of money for our, our class, and it's just a lot of fun to scare people. Would you do it again? No! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! How many times did you go through? Twice. And he went through twice. I go there a hundred times. <laughs> Me and Bob both enjoy scaring little girls. <laughs> it was scary. I, I hated the part where that guy was sitting down and you went through and he just popped out and scared me. That was the scariest part for me. What did you think? What did you think? I was scared at the wolf at the last part. Best haunted house ever. I was so freaked out and it made me scream like nonstop the whole time. Um, I peed. <laughs> that haunted shed seemed pretty scary, didn't it, Vaughn? Yes. As a matter of fact, I think I need to change my pants. Speaking of pants, Mr. Hare usually wears pants. And now off to a very creative teacher spotlight featuring Mr. Hare. So, Mr. Hare, we would like to know what made you decide to become a teacher? Well, it started when I was in high school. My high school art teacher said that I would not amount to anything in life, or especially, and so that right there set me to do what I wanted to do. And wow! Show my passion for art. Had you not become a teacher, what other career opportunities would you have looked into? I would want to be a martial arts expert. I am very scared you may just become the next Jackie Chan. Watch out! We're all dying to know, what is your biggest fear? I think it's going to be dragons because I had a bad experience with them in childhood. Interesting, to say the least. Yeah. If you had one quote to live by, what would it be? Don't let your life be influenced, just have fun. Thank you. I couldn't agree anymore. Question. Which bear is best? Grizzly. False. Black bear. Fact. Bears eat beet. Bears beat Battlestar Galactica. Thanks, Brady. And Mr. Hare for that very, very awesome teacher spotlight. Now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Brady Gokul, and boy do I have a product for you today. They call it lanyard. Are you tired of losing those keys? Are you ready to share some school spirit? Are you wanting something to wrap around that beautiful, muscular neck of yours? If you have a debit card, go to a local ATM and withdraw $5. They're running out. Your family, your friends, and even your pets will be jealous of lanyard. And last but not least, your mother will be very, very pleased. Act now! Hello, my name is Winters, and I'll be giving you, the people, your wacky, wonderful news. In London, people dress up as gorillas for a charity event to protect endangered species. A Miami police officer is accused of driving 120 miles per hour on a turnpike because he was late for his off-duty job working security at a school. Wah, wah, wah. An Ohio dentist is offering children the opportunity to turn their Halloween candy into cash to promote dental health. A Nebraska man finally pays off his mother's parking ticket from 1954. I didn't know you could get a parking ticket for riding a goat. A Jack Russell Terrier is heading home to Tennessee after turning up about 500 miles away in a Michigan backyard. Huh. Interesting. Doctors in Canada saw a face in a man's testicular tumor. 
it doesn't look too happy. The latest Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was released on November 8th. A one-eyed albino shark was found off the coast of California. A Lego man was arrested and will be in police custody for three months. What did he do? Nothing except for washing up on a siesta beach in Sarasota, Florida. Police deputies in California are called to free a man stuck in a hollow tree trunk? Are you serious, bro? Apparently, you can't let your nine-year-old daughter drive you home as a man found out in Detroit, Michigan, who is now in trouble for doing such a thing. How ridiculous, people. And now off to sports with Brady Gokul. I'm Brady Gokul, back with Bears Sports. I hope you're excited as I am. Now, on to football. The Jackson Heights game was a blowout. The Bears came out with a roar and they never let up. Stewart, as well as Ironman and Zwata, intercepted passes for touchdowns, and Casey, crazy legs Clark, had another successful show at quarterback. The final score was 66-0, and the JV played much of the second half and displayed a lot of talent as well. The Onega game was a nail-biter from the start. Our very own Sawan Turnden had another spectacular showing. He carried the ball 35 times for 236 yards and simply refused to be tackled. He will definitely make an NFL GM very happy someday. However, it was our defense that stepped up and had a crucial stop on a two-point conversion. In the end, we were able to drain the clock and won with a final score, 22-20. to The Bears hosted Donovan West for the first round of the playoffs. It was a battle from the start and a lot of emotion was involved. However, injury played the Bears throughout the game. Swan, James Akadamasa, and Swisher were all injured. In the end, we fell short as they were able to connect with the last second pass for a touchdown. Good season, Bears, and thank you to Coach K for all the hard work he did throughout the year. Now, on to cross country. They held regionals at the Leonardville Golf Course, and Angel Cervantes placed in the mid-30s, and Rana Gallegos was able to place in the 20s. Great season, guys, and we are very, very proud of you. The volleyball season also came to an end at Substate against the Lady Eagles. Good season, guys. You ladies truly showed a lot of heart, and you inspired many this season. That's all with sports. If you need to contact me, look me up on Twitter at como for ksu or email me at brady underscore gokul at embarkmail.com. Thank you, folks. Listen again. Well, now that fall sports are over, I bet you are wondering what our student athletes are up to. Well, it's a good thing we have the answers here today. Now on the scene with the one and only Brady Gokul. Also known as Como. So Amanda, now that volleyball is over, what have you been up to? Well, I've been lifting hard every day in weights and shooting baskets after school and running. Wow, I'm impressed. So Angel, now that cross country is over, what have you been doing in your spare time? Well, um, it's back to my primary focus on schoolwork, but um, I have been working out, I am still am, and I can't wait for track season. There's nothing wrong with being strong. Brady, now that fall sports are done, what are you doing? Well, Cicely, I've been reading a lot of poetry, contemplating the universe, and always taking very long jogs, especially at night. Wow, that's interesting. So, Elizabeth, now that girls' golf is over, what is your focus now? Well, let's see. Now that girls' golf is over, I can work more on my personal life so I can get my college and scholarships done and over with so I can get my life on a move on. Always the main focus. That's it for today on Bears Broadcast. Thanks for watching. And be sure to join us next time. Woo! 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 Yeah, I usually. Hello, my name's Winters, and I'll be producing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In London, people dress up as gorilla. <laughs> oh, stop laughing, Brady. <laughs> In Miami, police. Uh, uh,
you're like covering like half of it, Tristan. I'm sorry. One eyed albino shark was found. Yeah. Uh, you need a pop. In London, people dress up as the teleprompter is not moving whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs>